how to use Zapier with WhatsApp. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I am going to be telling you how you can use Zapier with WhatsApp. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and sign in into Zapier. Zapier is free, but there's a pricing plan, which we'll get into at the end of the video. So we can easily go ahead and sign up with our Google account. We can just simply click over here, start free with Google, and we should be good to go. So I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once you're logged in, we should be good to go. Now, once you're over here, you want to go ahead and create a Zap, all right? Zaps are basically automations that you can connect between different applications. So come over here onto Zap. You can see right here, Automate Workflow. You can click over here, or you can come over here onto the left-hand side and click on Zaps over here. All right and over here you will see all of those apps that you've created currently this is the one that i have so we'll just leave it at that and then you can click on create button to create a new app so i'll click on create and click on news app wait for the canvas to load up and once it's loaded up we should be good to go so they have this new feature called copilot this is still in beta but what you can do is you can go ahead and ask it to create app for you so for example i wanted to connect my whatsapp messages right so let's say whenever you receive a new email you also want to get a notification on whatsapp so something like this would look good so let's go ahead and see whether or not it works so we'll hit enter and the copilot is going to run over here see whether or not it's gonna create a zap for us if not we can just create one for it over here so here we go so you can set up a zap that sends a whatsapp message whenever you receive a new email in gmail here's how you can build it so you can see right here step one so we'll click on this one and then we'll click this one there we go we now have our zap ready now all we need to do is to set it up so we need to set up accounts set up notifications and stuff like that so over here this is the account as you can see trigger event new email let's go ahead and reconnect this connection since it's expired select the account click on continue allow and there we go all right it's now done and we should be good to go we have our email we have the trigger event and the account use click on continue configuration we have inbox or labels if you want you can go ahead and set it up where you want to so let's say inbox click on continue we also have this one over here i can fill as many fields as you want now one new email gmail make sure everything is working correctly click on next let's go ahead and test it out and test the trigger see whether or not we do receive an email over here it's going to test over here you can see it in the copilot preview as well where it is testing right now give it a couple of seconds and we should be good to go and i believe it did all right it passed it didn't say that you know what text successful or test successful or we received the message or whatever but uh it did i think it worked because it has the check mark over here green check mark because if it failed it would have an exclamation mark or an error message but yeah we're good to go now we need to set up our whatsapp configurations so we have our whatsapp notifications send message right click over here onto whatsapp to connect it so for this one we have to allow it so phone numbers are going to be over here enter the whatsapp number here eg format is given over here with the country code and everything and then it's going to send a one-time passcode and you're going to enter that one-time passcode and you know select the yes connect to whatsapp so i'm going to go ahead and do that add my number and then click on send and connect my number and there we go all right so i've connected my whatsapp everything looks good i can fill as many fields as you want there we go we should be good to go now we click on continue select the template that you want new lead or new message payment confirmation new order shipping confirmation these are different options as well but let's go ahead and select new message and enter the name over here and link reply so i'll just type in new message over here and then in the link to reply or the message url but currently uh here we go we can click on this plus button to add it as well so we can add what we want so we can directly open up from or from subject or body or you know whatever we want but i think it would be much better if we go with a message url which is going to be what we need so we're going to go ahead and click over here click on continue you can even select this over here as well so for example if you click on plus icon uh date from you can go ahead and select from name or from email as well let's go ahead and do that so a new email from the email over here and then we'll have the link and click on continue so now let's go ahead and click on 
test this step and it's going to go ahead and send the message so it says that message has been sent let me check the whatsapp we can see right here it says new message received and we have the link as well from no reply account reply now at this link so we click on the link it's going to open up the inbox give it a couple of seconds to load up so here we go yeah this looks good this is like the latest message they received but we can also just simply go ahead and copy the link and go back to configuration and instead of having this option right backspace let me just go ahead and paste it over here there you go click on continue so now also instead of from what i will do is click over here body plane from date whatever i'll actually just add a new message or new mail received check now i think that is a much better option that is a much better message so now if we click on continue and click on publish or we'll test it again we should be good to go but i think this looks good now whenever someone sends us a message on whatsapp or well whatever email we receive on gmail we'll get a message on whatsapp notifying us that hey a new email just came into your inbox please check it out which i think is pretty cool but yeah your zap is now on you can go to my zaps and check them out so here you will see all of your zaps that you have created so as you can see currently this is the zap that between gmail and whatsapp and it was created 29 seconds ago you can see the status over here you can turn it on and off as well or you know delete them or whatever you want but yeah over here for now i'll turn it off because i really don't want to have to check my whatsapp every time but I just wanted to show you how you can create one but yeah i'll turn it off for now but yeah this is how you can do it this is how you create a zap between whatsapp and gmail so now if you wanted to know how much it would cost or well if you wanted to upgrade your plan you can see right here this is the plan we're not going to be checking out enterprise but yeah these are the three plans the free the professional and the team in the free plan you get unlimited zaps two-step zaps and ai powered two steps means that the ones that we just created right simple between whatsapp and gmail we receive the email we get a notification that's two step that's the type of zaps we want if you wanted to more step if you wanted to add more step we would have to upgrade the plan so yeah of course 100 tasks per month we get in the free plan zapier automated platform and everything then we have the professional one which is going to be 19 dollars or 20 dollars per month which is billed annually if you go with the monthly plan it's going to be 29 dollars well 30 dollars actually because you actually save a few dollars on the annual plan and in it you're going to get 750 tasks multi-step zaps so you can create multiple steps and triggers between zaps unlimited premium apps web hooks and email support as well and then you have the teams which is of course for professional teams this is going to cost you 150 dollars per month but if you go with the annual plan it's going to cost you 69 dollars in it you're going to get 2,000 tasks unlimited users shared workspaces shared applications connections and premium support and sso added on so pretty cool but yeah this is how you do it this is how you create whatsapps or well, this is how you create a zap between whatsapp so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video until then take care and goodbye